The seven deadly sins are a classification of major sins committed by humans in day-to-day -day life, and there are streamers who perfectly embody these sins. Starting with the sin of envy. Envy is a feeling of resentment towards someone else's possessions and luck. In this case, the perfect reflection of envy is none other than Bruce Ray, more commonly known as Bruce Tropomov. Bruce Tropomov is commonly known to always get into arguments over minute things with popular streamers, and it always comes back to one thing, jealousy. First, it was jealousy towards Kai Sinat, Your Age, and even Lil Yoi. Messages of Bruce Tropomov and his moderator had been leaked, saying that Kai Sinat only calls Bruce for content, and some comments about AMP was also made. However, recently, an altercation with FaZe Clan confirmed the envious nature of Bruce Tropomov, as negative comments towards FaZe members were made especially towards Plague Boy Max, who even idolized Bruce coming up, but now is envious at his success as a streamer. However, later FaZe Banks had leaked that the reason Bruce was acting out was because Bruce wanted to join FaZe Clan in the first place, confirming his jealousy towards FaZe. Nigga, you think I give a f if Lacey is locked? That fat white ass nigga, you think I give a f FaZe? Stop talking about me, I don't care about you. You're beefing with a wall, stop doing it. Nobody care about you, FaZe don't care about you nigga. You wanted to join FaZe like you were saying on a FaceTime call, but you ain't get that shot. You're salty now, I guess. Speaking of FaZe Banks, he is the perfect embodiment of the sin of wrath. Wrath is defined as a strong, vengeful anger towards someone. In this case, FaZe Banks decided to go all out, coming off the Bruce drop him off as he had made bad comments about FaZe, even going to lengths where he made comments about his ex-girlfriend. Not only this, Banks had decided to call her and post it on Twitter, showing the lengths he would go not to take disrespect towards his name. The next sin on this list is lust, which is defined as a strong sexual desire towards someone, in this case, women. And the perfect embodiment of this is Mr. Maxwell Dent, more commonly known as Plague Boy Max. Plague Boy Max has admitted to being lustful, as he is a proud gooner, which is someone who excessively does the deed, and he admits to gooning in all of his friends' room, and even going seven times in one day. Not only this, Plague Boy Max had admitted to running trains on women multiple times, and was even so lustful to the point where it became his downfall at Las Vegas, as he had paid two female dancers for multiple private dances, but got scammed multiple times to the point where he was abandoned in a random hallway, all due to his extreme desires, which he should contain. In fact, Plague Boy Max's loss has become so strong to the point he lost over males such as Duke Dennis. Hold up, I'm like this. The things that they do to get a nut off. I think I damn near ate her on her period one time. Dad, I know you're in here. I'm sorry, but I went on an all-time spank session today. Really? I'm talking about I beat my meat to sleep. I woke up beat. You know how I wake and bake? I wake and beat. It's a different type of day. I was I don't know why. And it is low-key the most I slept in all time, like ever. Like I spanked my record amount of times, bro. Real sh I say probably like gotta be like six to seven times. The next sin on the list is gluttony, which is defined as the habitual greed or excessive eating. And the perfect depiction of this sin is none other than FaZe Lacey. FaZe Lacey actually used to play for a high school basketball team. I was in good shape. However, after COVID, when schools closed down, Lacey would indulge in large amounts of fast food every single day. And this paired with the fact that he didn't get any exercise led to him being morbidly obese. And this was harmful for Lacey's confidence as he admitted to getting bullied when he first showed his face on Twitch point where he wanted to kill himself. However, Lacey has now been losing weight, but still to this day, Lacey has been haunted by the sin, as many people have been accusing FaZe Lacey of taking Ozempic, which is a drug used to lose weight by many celebrities. Talking about celebrities, the next streamer is Jerry Wu, also known as FaZe Silky, who is a perfect embodiment of the sin of Slot. Slot is defined as the reluctance to work or make effort. Every time FaZe posts their streaming hours, Silky somehow manages to end up in the last place, which is clearly indicating how he does not care about streaming as much. Moreover, Silkington was clowned by his fans on the internet for not streaming for over two months, which led to his transformation, which was in fact worse than his old self. 2021 Silky has now transformed due to the sin of slot as someone who does too much in all of the things he is involved in. Invite Silky, you can go. You're invited. Uh, I mean, nah, uh, it's, it's I just cool. didn't think you wanted to because you're not streaming. Nah, I mean, nah, it's, it's, it's cool. I'm not really like, you feel me? Like, I'm not, it's, If you wasn't invited, yeah, it's just, don't ask to go. If you wasn't invited, don't ask to go. And don't, don't accept, like, don't accept invites. I understand. That's in the air. You just want to go, you, you and You know what I'm saying? Hey, just be out. Shut the up, nigga. 
next two sins has had the worst consequences. Firstly, the sin of pride. Pride is a deep pleasure or satisfaction due to someone's own achievements. And the perfect depiction of this is the streamer Rashid Josh Gilbert, also known as Your Age Gamer. Recently, Your Rage Gamer's pride led to him getting his eye injured in an altercation with the axe. He didn't listen to anyone warn him to wear goggles when slicing down trees, and his excessive hubris led to him hitting his eye with an axe. This is a serious injury. However, your rage still remains prideful as he believes he is an enemy. He even purchased anime chains and thinks he's Kakashi with an eye patch. I don't even know how to start a video like this off. Not gonna lie. For those of you that don't know, I got into a freak. A little freak, little accident on stream the other day, a few days ago. Um, I'm basically just gonna explain the situation where I'm at right now, what I was thinking at the time, and yeah. And finally, the last and most deadliest sin, which is the intense and selfish desire for some and especially power. And the perfect embodiment of this sin is none other than Duke Dennis. Duke Dennis is an extremely greedy person as he attracts every woman he sets his eyes on. And this clearly represents his greedy nature. Not only this, Duke Dennis is extremely athletic, probably the most athletic streamer in the whole world. And by his greedy nature, he does not let others win. And so, so when y'all be in my DM saying, Duke, my girl on this app, nigga, your bitch. I don't want your bitch. You can have your bitch, nigga. I don't want, I don't want no bitch. If I wanted any bitch, bro, I would. Real, hey, no bitch. I be, I'm so good on everybody. I want what I want. And I'ma get what I want. No cap, I'm gonna get what I want. I swear to God, I'm gonna get what I want. Y'all, y'all playing? Y'all think I'm playing? Y'all think I'm playing? Watch. Bro, <clears throat> we don't give a f about what you're gonna do in 2024. We don't wanna see that shit. We don't wanna hear that shit. We don't wanna see no inspirational ass quotes, no none of that, bro. Just do it. <laughs> or shit. Got your, you got your little plan for 2024, and so do everybody else. Lock in, do this. Don't tell nobody your plans. Pop out silently. Like, grind silently. We don't want to hear that. Dude's behind you. <laughs> uh, uh. Fight and fight